Okay, we're going to discuss the conditions which shift the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve to the right, um, also known as the Bohr effect. And it's going to be represented by the mnemonic cadet faces right. Now, this is not my mnemonic, um, but I've heard it and I love it and I've shared it with others and they've loved it, so I'm going to share it with you. So here's our cadet, this is a young soldier guy, and he is going to be turning to the right. Oh, his back is not green. Let's fill that in. It's a little awkward. And there we go. Okay, there's our cadet and he's facing right. And he's going to represent this mnemonic. So, C, so these five conditions represent the conditions which the uh, oxygen hemoglobin curve is going to be shifted to the right. C is going to stand for, let's make this a little thinner, for carbon dioxide, CO2. When there's CO2 around, that shifts the oxygen, um, that shifts the curve to the right. Acid, acid or also known as low pH. D is going to stand for 2,3-DPG, right? When that's that's um, something that causes oxygen to have a it, it 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 liberates oxygen from from hemoglobin. Exercise. Without getting, we're not getting into all of this, the chemistry behind all of this, but these are the just to know these five conditions. And one important thing that shifts the curve to the left. Well, I should do that, do that in purple. That's known as the Haldane effect is when there is fetal fetal hemoglobin and that's because hemoglobin and that's because in the fetus there's not much dp 23 sorry 23 dpg around and if 23 dpg shifts the curve to the right then by uh, deduction the lack of it in fetal hemoglobin will shift the curve to the left okay well thank you for watching